Now we want to talk about a multiplicative system. And it's going to consist of a set of numerals to represent digits, and then a set of numerals to represent position. And then when a digit symbol is represented along with a position symbol, we multiply them together. So it's going to be the digit times the position. And then the final number is going to be the sum of all the multiplications of digit times position. Now we already have some sort of concept of this. When we see this numeral, and it's Hindu Arabic, 7248, when we say it, we're actually saying the multiplication. We say 7,240 and 8. So if we were going to write this as it were a multiplicative system, I would write 7 times 1,000 plus 2 times 100 plus 4 times 10 plus 8. Okay, this is a place value system. We're going to talk about this more later, but it's really a compacted multiplicative system. So a multiplicative system will actually write this out in expanded form every time. So the value of the number is not determined by the place. You actually see the multiplication happening. One such system that, that uses this is in Chinese numerals. Okay, So here's our guy for 0. Okay, so there's our 0. For 1, we just have horizontal slash. For 2, we have 2 horizontal slashes. For 3, here we have 3 horizontal slashes. For 4, kind of have this box looking thing okay, with these two little tassels coming down in the middle. I think it looks like a shopping cart or some stuff hanging out. For number five, okay, have this symbol here. To me it looks like a ski jumper landing without a head of course. Number six, we have this symbol here. For number seven, we get this kind of lazy looking T. For number eight, we have this symbol. Kind of looks like a slide to me. For number nine, we have this symbol here. Okay, so those are all the digits, one through nine. And now we have our place values of 10, 100, and 1,000. So 10 here is just a cross. Here's your 100. So it's kind of like this box with a handle and then an antenna on top. And then here's 1,000. It's going to be your cross again with a little diagonal slash on top. Now the rules of the Chinese system, we actually write our numerals vertically. And you take a numeral 1 through 9 written above a power of 10, and those get multiplied together. Then we go ahead and add the products of all of these together. So let's try some examples. So here we want to write the Hindu Arabic numeral as the traditional Chinese numeral. So we're going to think about this uh, in expanded form just like we had done before. So 20 is 2 times 10. So to write this in Chinese we would take the symbol for 2 and we would write it above the 10 which is just a cross. Okay, so we see here this is 2 times 10. For 400, this is going to be 4 times 100. And so we write the symbol for 4 right here. So we get this box looking guy. A little shopping cart, remember? So there's our 4. And then the symbol for 100. So this one right here. So written this way, this is saying 4 times 100, or 400. So if we wanted to write something like 428, we're going to think it's going to be 4 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 8. Now we just need to transfer this to Chinese numerals. So here's your... 4 
here's your 100. Here's 2 times 10, and then 8. So here's your number 428. I want you to try 562 on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, come on back, and check your work. All right, welcome back. So we have 5, 100, 6, 10, so 60, and 2. All right, let's move on. Now we want to translate the Chinese numerals into Hindu Arabic. Okay, so here, if I look at this number, that's the number 4, 5. This is the number 4, 100. That's the symbol for 2. This is the symbol for 10. And this is the symbol for 6. And now we would just combine this, smush it all together. So we have 500, 20, 6. This is the number, 526. Let's try our next one. This is the symbol for 3. This symbol is 1,000. This symbol is 6. This symbol is 10, and this symbol is 1. So it's going to be 3 times 1,000 plus 6 times 10, which is 60, and then plus 1. So it's really the number 3,061. Now this is one major difference between multiplicative and a place value system. In a place value system, we have to leave a placeholder if we have none of that place value. So here we have zero one hundreds. Notice in this case, you don't have to write zero times one hundred. You just leave it off. Okay, so that's a little advantage to the multiplicative system there. All right, I want you to try this next one on your own. Pause the video, come on back when you're done. All right, in this one, you might have found something a little bit interesting. Here we had 8 times 100, and then we just had the number 10 with no digit written above it. And so what that means, that's going to just be 1 times 10, but you don't actually have to put the 1 in there. So it's just 10 here and 4 here. So this is 814. 